Now, before we get into this entertaining video, we would just like to remind you to like and subscribe. Yes, please do like and subscribe. Sunflowers! Hello, my little munchkins, crones, and sunflowers. I am back here to do a reading on, I have to say it, don't bite my head off because I know many people don't like it when you read on children. Yes. I don't liken these girls to be children. I liken them to be young adults because they are Diddy girls. And he has three. Two of them are twins, which are cancers and they're twins mm -hmm. and then the oldest she is 18 and she is a she's uh uh she's a um i just thought i just had her name it just oh, went out my mind she's a cancer she's a cancer and, and the they are sagittarius so and and so let me get my thought together. So when I'm reading on them I'm not reading on them for no harshness. I'm really really concerned and what is going to become of these girls? Yes. I I don't know. I I I was told that Diddy left them with the cousin, I guess, or with um one of the family members, not a family, yeah, a family friend, one of her one of um their mother's friends. But I heard these girls are looking for a house and an apartment. A, B, they list, they used to a certain style of living. So I'm wondering what will become of everything that that belong to Diddy. If something happens, it goes to the state. Is the state is going to have to pay out everybody? Are they going to look out for the kids? Did he leave money for the kids? I just don't know. So right now, I'm hoping that he did. I don't know what the mother, I don't know. I don't know why the girls can't go stay with grandma. I, I know she's old, but she ain't that old. I, I, I'm just concerned about the girls yeah. here. And, and that's what I'm saying. So when Diddy fall, they all fell. I'm not, why did the sons can't take them? I've just got issues. So I want to just read briefly on what will, will these girls be okay? Is that okay? Yeah. Will they be okay? Mm -hmm. They have each other and it seems like they close. God knows. I hope so. Because that's all they have. They have no mother. They have no father. Their brothers are running scared because their brothers have been not clean mm -hmm. in spite of it. They have been some of them. And I don't know about Albie Shaw's son. I don't know if he's been good. I don't know. I just feel like this is a tragedy. It really is. And um and the and the girls, I, I don't know. Yeah. But they made a fire. They made a fire and they made a earth. So those twins got grit and they got personality mm -hmm. and they got a lot of spunk. As yeah. far as the oldest girl. Mm, cancer. She's got emotions. She's intelligent. She can be hard, but the emotions, she can be emotional. She's sensitive. So I'm thinking they could do it. Yeah. You know, because they're not little. They're not little because you can go and be emancipated. So yeah, they're, they're not, right. they're not little like that. They could go out and live on their own. They don't, they can go and work. They can drop out of school. They could do whatever they want to do right now. So I'm going to name their names. Give me the first name of the oldest. The oldest is Chance. Chance. Remember, I'm going to tell you what I see for Chance and the personality right now. Chance. Hmm. Finish. Chance City is water. And I see the King of Cups. I see somebody taking charge. Who else we have? Um, then the two twins. I need the first name. Okay. Um, we'll start off with. Um, let me see which one I want to start off with. I like Candace. Okay. You like Candace? What's her name? Candace. Del Delilah. Jesse Del James. Delilah. I don't know Delilah. why I want to call that girl Candace. <laughs> Delilah. Delilah. Okay. okay. These came out together. So. Fitting for the twins. Fitting for the twins. So. They came out. First one would be what? Delilah. I see a king of pentacle, pentacles, meaning resourceful. And the last is 
Jesse James. James. What some names. And I see young and fire and, and, and a lot of ideas. So what do I see for the first girl? I see very mature, very mature. Somebody that's very mature. I see a king, somebody that can be emotional, but can, can lead, can rule, understand, got a little say, got a little power and know how to balance it, but can be emotional. I see someone that is a pentacle. What's his, her name? Yes, Delilah. Delilah, somebody that's a go-getter, a starter, somebody about money, who know how to make money, who know how to hold on to money, who appreciate money. So this is somebody, so they got somebody there that is about money, you know, that's about getting it, doing what we got to do to get where we got to go to do what we got to do. And then I see the third girl, which is Jesse James. Mm -hmm. So I see here is the page, mentally fire, start, a fire starter, got a lot of energy, a lot of talent, um, busy, uh, not trying to get into a lot of things. She's more creative. She's got a lot of creative juices now. However, these all could be intertwined because I don't know the girls. I just laid out the cards. You understand? And since the twins came out together, Mm -hmm. It could be switched, but nevertheless, this is what the cards are saying. Yes. Yes. Um, I just like to um, point out real quickly about the astrology and the elements. Go ahead, baby clown. Yes. As we said Thank earlier. Thank you for reading with me. Yes, you're welcome. As we said earlier, Chance, who is a cancer, <clears throat> a water card came out for her. And then the twins, because they are born on the cusp of Sagittarius Capricorn. And Earth fire and earth right. so all their elements who represent them. them are popping out that's right that's true that is so true thank you baby Cone. i don't You're know welcome. why see like i said sometimes you know when i be reading i be calling names the wrong names please bear with me like i could be saying that this i i've been called chance jesse so baby Cone is here so baby Cone have to be on alert because i could get their signs messed up but just because i do that don't let that deter you from the reading okay yes. just know i know what they are yes. it's just that mm -hmm. it's a lot of information right. coming in you want to like, add to that yes and like you say in every um daily tarot reading that you do that we all have every zodiac sign within us that's so true. that's why they might be popping out in a different zodiac sign that day in the cards because maybe that's just what's expressing in them at that moment at this moment and remember these are only their um sun signs. sun signs in other words this is only their personas this is not their moon so we only dealing with the outer personality and so what we see here we see three distinct personalities we see emotional we see sturdy and we see somebody that's fire and a go-getter mm -hmm. okay so we see three elements at play and all three elements get along because water and air yeah they get along they do. and you see air and fire and earth they get i mean not air you see mm -hmm. you see fire yeah. and she's got her wand in the air mm -hmm. because it goes up high so yeah. you see that they all these elements work together so mm -hmm. these are three girls i think that are pretty close i'm thinking they're pretty close so okay so let's see what's going on with each of them yes okay so the question I want to know is, are these girls going to be okay? I heard that they're looking for a place I heard in California. And I was thinking, California is so expensive. Mm -hmm. Why don't they move someplace away from the limelight? Yes. Um, like move somewhere like where? Merlin. <laughs> I know. What's wrong? With Merlin is a nice place. It's a, it's a decent state. It's a decent state. But we're, it seems like the activity either just happens to be in the D.C. Yeah, area. Yeah, but these the are region. kids. Yeah. You're putting these kids out there. Baby, phone up. Baby. You must be hungry to go out. <laughs> you must be hungry to go out. Baby, don't go out. She doesn't do anything. She works. She devoted her life to school. Right. 
Uh-huh. But you're looking at their lifestyle and thinking they're going to want to do some. What those things? Yeah, they do get their grades, but they ought not be in no club at that age. Not even the 18 year old, really. I don't even think you could get in a club at 18. I think you got to be 21. So anyway, there are some 18 plus clubs. Well, then they those just for right. little kids. They for little kids. Then fine. That means no alcohol. They being yep, served and punched mm-hmm. and soda and stuff like that. So anyway, here we see for the first girl. Her name is Chance. Chance. I see Chance. Is the type of person she doesn't. It's emotional. She think a lot, but she don't take anything. So she's the type of person she's not going to accept anything. I see the money girl. I see she's ready to make moves. She's emotional. She's very emotional, but she's ready to make moves. In other words, I think she's ready to get a house. She's ready to do something. This is the one that think with money. She's ready to be grounded. She's feeling like we're on our own and we got to do what we got to do. The first one here is like we got to be careful. We got to watch what we're doing. She's being more cautious. You know, you know how you like, that's not, don't be too quick. We're being cautious, but now they're being pressed. And so the one here, this is Delilah, Delilah mm-hmm. is more like, like I said, I could get them mixed up, but just deal with the names for now. So Delilah is feeling like, look, this is new beginnings. This is a very emotional time. This is a very emotional time for these girls because I see cups, cups, and I see this one here is just dancing in the flames, just probably not even able to absorb everything that has happened. You know, just being consumed with this. This is a very emotional time for these girls, but all at the same time, new beginnings. And it's a part inside of this. I'll let you know when I see this. Absolutely. There's a part inside of this. There's a sense of calm. Hmm. It's a sense, even in spite of all of the, the drama, there is a sense of calm in this, if that makes any sense. Mm-hmm. There is a sense of calm. What do I mean? I mean, because you see, you still see that pentacle. So you see the pentacle and you see the pentacle. So you see the pentacle shows up because you see here, you see she shows up. You see, you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What's her name? Delilah. Delilah, the one that is more level and willing to take chances and willing to to, to get the place and wanting to do it and finding this exciting and still she shows up and leading she's leading while the other one is is saying okay gathering us emotionally and emotionally she's leading emotionally so you see they coming into their rightful places do you see that mm-hmm, yeah okay now what's going on above them they moving on they have to move on moving on. She's thinking about moving on. Here you see her here, moving on. She's taking the lead. They're moving on. They got to do this. They're working together and she's being the big sister. While this one here is more laid back, like I said, this is Jesse Jane. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it could be, it could be Delilah. Delilah and Jesse, but I'm just reading it. But here, this one is more laid back, not laid back, but energy, just energy just allowing them to do what they do best and she's just uh, going along with it Mm -hmm. just going along with it they know they got to do something they really do Mm -hmm. i like how the knight of pentacles popped up twice yes 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 Mm -hmm. and so did the king of cups absolute cup trick that's what i'm saying and these curls showed up again that's what i'm saying Mm -hmm. you see you're taking the lead and you see here moving on yeah nothing else there they have to move on and I don't know how much time they have, mm-hmm. but they moving on. And I see here, what's her name? She the oldest chance. girl is is ready to take the lead. Somebody's got to take lead. They're in it together, all three of them. They they don't have to go anywhere they don't want to go. You know, sure. they don't have to live anywhere they don't want to live. They're old enough to go on their own. Mm-hmm. So they're young. They they're not children. They're teenagers. And they are ready. I truly believe. Let me see. I believe that Diddy trained them. Let's see. Yes. I think that he left them. He knew that things. I think he moved in a hurry. I think that he did leave them with stuff. I don't think he left them with nothing. I think that he did leave them with something. I don't know how or why or what he did. He left because I see him here with stuff left behind. You see those two, but you see things in his hand. 
but I don't believe he left those girls high and dry. Right. Here, this is another one coming in, very sturdy. And, and, and when I think of this sturdy, they really lost the foundation, which is their dad. They lost the foundation, which is their dad. And coming in, mm -hmm. coming in, their future, having to make quick decisions, having to work together. This is this is this has been a turmoil. They've been going through a turmoil time. These girls has been twixt in between, like driven on waves of water. Mm -hmm. They've been up, they've been down, they've been hysterical, they've been everything. They have been all over the place. And you could see it in the reading. You could see it in water. You could see it in the earth. Even here, earth is moving. Earth is moving away, having to move away, having to give up their life. Their whole life has changed as they know it. They have no mother. They have no father. Their brothers are not in a condition. And these girls are left out in the world to defend for themselves. And all we can hope is that Diddy did a good job as a parent yes. preparing them. And it's no way I don't believe he haven't prepared them. And there we see a heartache. Their heart, you see the king? Mm -hmm. Their heart is absolutely broken over their father, over this. Their heart is broken. And having to move on without them, it's like they were stuck. You know how you stuck? Mm -hmm. It's like a memorial, a memorial service, even though he's not dead, but he's not there. He can't get to them. He can't save them. He can't protect them. They're on their own up against all the elements. We see air, we see water, we see fire, we see earth, and these girls up against everything. And they have to think on their own. And they're just out there because their, their emperor it's not mm -hmm. there to help them. You know, you have a question? Yes. This is powerful. Yes, definitely. Um, my question is, how does Diddy feel that he left, had to leave his girls behind? Oh, he, he did what he could do. He got them in a good stand because I see here where he's looked out and he's got the world in his hand. So he covered them. He did. He did. He did. Even his boys, he took care of them. So I don't know how, I don't know if we'll ever know, but he did do this. And I'm getting the feeling, this man is sitting back saying, I I dotted every I and 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 cup and crossed every T. Mm -hmm. And I think this man is holding back and holding on to the staff that's budding, that these three girls will be all right it's two of them standing there but he because he's hoping that they're going to be he's got his hand on them so it's like the one is the twins he's got it it's just the baby and that's the one so he's got these girls in in the hollows of his hand this is eating him away like no other financially they secure he left these girls secure that's why they are saying they're going to go get a house and not an apartment okay that's why they living in California. So this is what I see. But we'll find out. Mm, yes, we'll find, we will. But he did not need. Now, like I said, I don't know what a lot of money for you. You leave me a million dollars. That's a lot of money for me. It's not an exuberant amount, mm -hmm. but it's enough for me to do what I need to do. You know, but if you left me three million, that would be better. Three million would I, I would be already for the rest of my life with three million for me. Okay. Cause I got everything. So three million, what would that do for you? You uh, you got a longer lie. life, so you need more. You you need 10 million. My life is more shorter, you got know. You. I done acquired and gotten a lot. There are things I don't need, you know, like I would do something, remodel my house or something. I would find something to do because I would make it look not new. I don't I like my house, so what would I do? Um, you know, just spruce it, it up or yeah, something. Spruce it up, you know, just yeah, fix what yeah, needs to be fixed. Yeah, yeah, do something like that, and or maybe have cameras put in. Yeah, as, something as your like that, to the and house and maybe. and yeah, have a little play. Yeah, I would do that to it. Yeah, something like that. 
Well, go ahead. Yeah. So, oh, I was talking about this reading. I got all in myself. Sorry about that. Uh, but that's what the girls are talking about. This is what, yeah, this is, they, they starting to be independent. They coming into their money. Mm -hmm. They, they do, it's like bittersweet. Yeah. You know how something is bittersweet? They excited, but you're scared. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. This is actually a very good example about the eighth house. And here is the, here is this again. This showed up again. Oh, wow. All three All of them. All three of them oh. showed up again. Mm -hmm. Yes. Go ahead. Definitely they are mm -hmm. in unison, like you said they earlier. Mm -hmm. But this is definitely um, a good example about eighth house energy, about how you acquire finances mm -hmm. or things from other people. Yeah. And typically it's through a loss. And what did they lose? They lost their father to being in jail or in prison, wherever he he's in, he's in a holding facility. facility. Yes. Mm -hmm. So they technically lost a parental figure yes, and they therefore did. they got a, some form of inheritance. Right. So, absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. And so how much, I don't know, but it's enough where they thinking about buying a house or a condo. So in California, mm -hmm. yep. he didn't leave them high and dry. I don't know how this worked, what he left them or whatever. But at this point, like I say, he could have just left them each a million dollars. I don't know. But I tell you one thing. If you left me a million dollars, California will not be where I would be. Okay. Yes, if I really place. wanted the California lifestyle, I will mosey myself right on to Georgia. Fair and enough. buy me a nice old house in Georgia. And yeah. all three of us can pitch in and get a nice old house. Mm -hmm. You know, I could buy Kim Zosiak house, <laughs> you know, for 300 yeah. or, you know, 300 or 400 or half a mil or, or, or even a million dollar home in Georgia. I mean, I'm sure they got bigger, but I'm saying that would put them in a really good neighborhood. Yeah. I, I just see things differently. But those girls used to live in the high life mm -hmm. and they know what money is oh, and yeah. they know what extravagant is. So they're going to be all right. But I see all three of the girls showed up again and they looking forward. They're moving forward. They're looking forward and financially they secure. They are secure for now. Can I say that? Yes. He did now. not leave those girls with nothing. I don't know. And the reason why I'm saying this, because I don't understand how the banks work. I don't know. Will the government come in and say, you can't have that money and take it away from the kids? Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I hope not. Right. And it, 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 are they going to say you was hiding your money with the kids? And mm -hmm. so we, I, I don't know. That's why I'm feeling like this. I'm feeling a way because I know he left them, but I don't know if it's going to be tampered because they already took their um, passports. passports and God knows what else. So I don't know the law and I don't know the law of California. Mm -hmm. So this is why I'm saying he left them. He left them. They're not. He didn't leave them with nothing. He didn't leave them with no hope. And how much? I don't know. But they actually going for. They're going forward. They have to. They're ready to move forward. Are they frightened? Are these girls frightened? I okay. want to know. Are they frightened? That's a good question. Yes, emotionally. Yep, emotionally. These costs are turning upside down. Okay, let me see something. Okay, so they were they they were upside down. There we go. So I see a queen, and even though this queen is very family oriented, and these girls are going to stick together. It's I get a sense that they made a vow to one another, a pact that they'll be there for each other. And I and I see that it is a very heavy moment, a very depressing time, especially with that cancer. And I see, and Sagittarius can be very heavy too. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so you see it. Yeah, and Earth can be heavy. Oh, yeah, you got three heavy, yes. heavy, because Earth is heavy. Mm -hmm. Earth is heavy right and water is heavy mm -hmm. and air is light but sure. it's mentally heavy mm -hmm. it's light but it's mental weight is staggering and maybe that's where they get their calmness because you were saying there's a sense of calm it's a sense of calmness because of the lightness of air 
It's the lightness of air. It's that air, all that weight around them, all that fire that's burning. And fire is consuming. Mm -hmm. So you got that fire energy. You got water, which is there is some kind of battle, but the battle is not with them. The battle is their life has changed and has been, they have to uproot and go to a life that they are not familiar with. And they have to go without their leader, without mm -hmm. the leader of the pack, along with their heart broken. They have to do this as young girls. This was not in the cards for them. Mm -hmm. So now they have to start all over and live this life as I feel like crying about that. Mm. But they're going to be okay. They are resilient. They are resilient. They are scarred. Yeah. They are scarred. Whatever man get with them, they got their scarred. No way around it. Mm -hmm. They That's are true. scarred girls. Every last one of them even his sons, because of the lifestyle and what they have been used to, yeah. what they have been exposed to. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm saying, I don't know the last conversation that they had with these girls. What what did he have with his girls or what they talk about on the phone? But you could know that he know what these girls are doing. And for whatever reason, he did not see it fit for his sons to take care of them. So the oldest girl and all three of them, I think that they're going to be fine. They're going through a very rough spot, very rough, rough time, scary time. And do you blame them? No. Heartbroken. They're like lost, but not lost because they got so much energy around them. They got so much help. They do have help. They're not lost in the world. The media comes off like they that's how it the media had me feeling. The media had me feeling like, oh my God, you know how I came on. Yeah. I came on worried and then now that I'm reading the cards, I feel like no, they are not they're not little little Bo Peak who lost his sheep. They are mourning the loss like all of them. All of them are mourning the mother, yeah. all of them. They are mourning the loss. This is a great loss. And their financial figure yeah. is gone. Their kingdom, as they know it, has crumbled to the ground. That's true. They have to walk the rest of their life in humiliation of this. They have to deal with men and women that's going to lord this mm -hmm. over them. And yet they're innocent. Yeah. You know how people are? Mm -hmm. no what do they say? The fruit don't fall far from the trees. And it's true. Yeah. But only time will reveal the outcome of these girls. But in the meantime, in between time, they're ready to move on. They know they have to. They know. It seems like everything is going choo, 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 choo. That's what yeah. it feels like. But... I don't know what's going to happen to the house or where they're staying, mm -hmm. but they have to do something and find some normalcy in their life because they understand that their daddy ain't coming home for them. No time soon. Unless a miracle. And from what I heard, they denied him twice. Mm -hmm. So do you think they're going to try? Yeah, three months from now. But at that time, it's settled. He's adjusted. Ain't no need in taking them out. So the girls have to learn to go on with broken heart, with their trepidation, but with their doubts and their fears and wavering, with learning to listen to one another, mm -hmm. respecting one another, and they have to go and become adults, whether they're ready or not. And the other two girls, the other twins still have to finish school. So our prayers go up to these these three girls. Yes. And I I know that he has prepared them for the best that they could do. But prayers are going up for them and I know that 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 everything and time is going to work out. And let me say this before I end and you may not share this, but this is what I believe. I believe that our lives are written before we come here on this earth. I believe that we already wrote, but when you cross over the thing from life, when you cross over from life to death, because when you come into this life, you're crossing over into death because you come from life eternal, but you're crossing over for to live in the light.
to live in this life for just a moment, you cross into death. Mm -hmm. You understand? And these girls, even though they don't know it, this has been written. This yeah. was meant for them. So this is their task. This is their journey. And it's up to them who they will be, how they will be, and what kind of women they will be. And I'm rooting for them. And I know you are too. I wish them nothing but success on this scary, lonely, frightening journey that they must take at such an early age. Yes. It's different when you choose to. You could say, oh, mom, I want to move out on my own. And you go, oh, I want to go live with my boyfriend. You go. But what do you do when you have everything and the leader is taken and your whole life is destroyed mm -hmm. before you? Not only did he went down, but everything around him crumbled yes. too. So prayers yes. are going up for this family and they will be okay. I can't stress that enough, but time will tell because mm -hmm. even if I didn't believe that I'm going to speak life, that they are going to be okay. In spite of everything that stands up against them, I speak life into those girls. They're going to override and become wonderful women. And I that's like what that. I say. And with that being said, mm -hmm. I hope you enjoyed this reading on Diddy Girls. If you have not um, subscribed, please subscribe. And if you have not, uh, I mean, and, and 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 since you hear, thumb us up. Yeah. If you made it this far, thumb us up. I hope you enjoyed this reading. It gave me a lot of insight. I came in not knowing, but I know that these girls are resilient. I know yes. these girls got, they got what they say, Motsy in them. They got balls. They got big balls. They can do this thing. And this is not an accident. This is not a freak show. This is their life. And it's what they were made to walk. And they will do it if they want it. It's there for them. They got they got good education. They had a good life. And he left them in a way where they can make it. Good luck to these girls. I can't stress it enough. Mm -hmm. I certainly enjoyed that reading. And it left me feeling hopeful. And I hope that it did too. But never forget, they're still young girls. Yes, and they with are. that being said, sunflowers. Sorry. Sunflowers. <laughs>